for Corona Cup 2. Uh, I'll be your host today, Mark, and um, we have an interesting matchup today that might look a little familiar to those of you who watched our last stream. Because it was between these exact two players and uh, their exact lists. So this is going to be a rematch uh, for these two players. And I'm really interested in how this one turns out. I think there's a lot of uh, common assumptions in the X-Wing community or, or with other competitive games about how rematches tend to go now in the last version of this matchup uh kevin won by just a little bit uh he lost ray but in the process killed asajj somewhat of a fair trade but kevin came ahead on points by then going ahead and killing Layton. Uh, without losing too much of his own escort ships. Uh, so the end of the game uh, was Brandon lost Asajj and Leighton, but Paylob's paint wasn't even scratched. It was a close game, though, and I think a lot of people would think that when you have a rematch like this, the edge might go to the person who lost the first time around. Uh, maybe they've identified where they went wrong. Maybe they've learned a lesson or something that, that might give them a little bit of an edge up in the rematch. Of course, sometimes it goes the other way too. And the person who dominated in the first game dominates in the second or, uh, turns what was a small win into a larger win the next time around. What I'm interested to see is how these players change up their, approach from the first time around. Uh, a lot of, Kevin said after his game and in our post-game interview that a lot of his approach was um, opportunistic. He went for Asajj because Asajj was there. I'm interested to see if Kevin is coming into this game with let's go with what worked last time. Kill Asajj pick Leighton off, and just leave Paylob to do Paylob things and be untouchable. Or if he's going to be impeded in that by Brandon changing tack a little bit here. Now, last time, Brandon was disadvantaged a little bit by how he played Asajj. He tried to get a little squirrely with the ship, did a 5K, which was very interesting, but then... Uh, was overextended and had to catch back up, which ended up putting Asajj barreling right into a rock. And it just led to uh, Asajj and Ray just smacking each other around until one of one or both of them were dead. And then they both died on the same turn. I, I think if I'm Kevin, I'm, I'm wondering, okay, this worked for me last time. Do I go for this again? Or do I walk into this match exactly like I walked into last match with whatever I can? Di my list can damage anything. Paylob stealth three agility stealth device doesn't mean shit against my four and five dice ray attacks. Uh, so I'll just shoot whoever Brandon presents me with and go from there. And Brandon, I'm wondering if he's going to change up his usual approach by. Uh, maybe hanging Asajj back a little bit more, leading a little bit more with Paylob, or leading a little bit more with Leighton, trying to disrupt what he might be assuming is Kevin's new target priority. Of course, the problem for Brandon with doing that is the reason that he doesn't want to lead with Paylob is that Ray is a huge threat to Paylob. Uh, something, Ray is the kind of threat to Paylob that I don't know that Brandon has ever seen in any of his other games with this list. Uh, Paylob can run up against two ad, uh, attack dice ships all day long and take no damage whatsoever. Uh, but Ray's highly accurate four and five dice attacks from any range uh, are extremely dangerous. Uh, and even just one hit getting through crushes that stealth device. Paylob back down to a two agility ship 
And that gives Kaz and Elo the ability to just take Palom down. Um, so the thought might be that, well, okay, Brandon lost last time because Asajj went down like that and Leighton followed and he didn't do enough damage, but Palob was on damage. So clearly what Brandon should do is lead with Palob this time. But that's a problem because Brandon probably doesn't want to do that. I think Brandon's probably coming into this matchup with, okay, I lost by a small margin last time. Clearly, I didn't do that many things wrong. I think what I did wrong was how I flew Asajj into that rock, bad positioning. If I can just do a little bit better with my positioning of Asajj and keep everything else roughly the same, I will probably come out of this match with a win. Um, so we'll see what these players want to do. Uh, they've been putting together what looks like a pretty circle-ish rock formation here, trying to leave room on... Both players trying to leave room on the edges and leave spaces for their big ships to get in and play. No real surprise there. Um, but it looks like Brandon has organized himself just a little bit more room on approach with those smaller rocks on his own side. Kevin's going to be a little bit more positionally wrangled um, as he tries to approach. And he's had issues with that in the past with Ray. So I'm hoping that he can, uh, he can avoid that this game and, and show some very good uh, Ray positioning and Ray play. Um, and Brandon just setting up in the middle, which makes sense. Uh, he doesn't know where Kevin's going to be coming from. He has to put his two PS3s on the board before he sees anything from Kevin. And uh, Brandon deciding that he will put in the middle, and then he can react from there. And I think that's about his usual. Yeah, he's just thinking about what he wants to do. Um, and yeah, uh, chat, if you're, uh, if you've got any thoughts on this matchup or you're, you're, you've got some predictions on how this is going to go, feel free to let me know in chat. Uh, I'll tell you whether I agree or disagree with you, but honestly, the, the beauty of this, this matchup especially is that in, in part because of how it went the first time, it, there really is no telling of how it's going to go. And Asajj is just going to be put in a position to trail which, again, is, is basically how uh, Brandon decided to position last time. He's thinking long and hard about which side Asajj wants to go on. Uh, does, definitely does not want to find himself unable to turn, unable to maneuver because of those rocks. And one disadvantage to starting your large base ship off in the center of the board with how you've deployed those rocks is that uh, every turn for a while you're you're going to have a lot of your moves pretty limited which is especially troublesome on a chassis like the Shadowcaster which really does prefer its faster moves by and large but Brandon is placed and uh, he's, he's set up to dominate the center of the board and be able to react wherever Kevin's coming from, though Brandon will have to react through the asteroid field unless he's going to start off with some hard turns from his uh, escort ships. Now, Kevin has a choice to make. And really, I think it's a choice of which side of the board do you want to come down uh, top of the board has uh, some advantage here, um, but I really think the the issue is that you have those uh, those rocks set up in a way that might make it pretty difficult for Ray to slip between them and get good shots off. But he's going to choose the top of the board here. Um, Kaz is going to go down first. No surprise there. Um, and then Elo right next to him. Yep, absolutely. I think Kevin likes to keep these two ships together. Certainly in X-Wing, you really want to concentrate your fire. Uh, and especially against Brandon's ships, it's crazy important to concentrate your fire. Uh, Leighton, Palob, Asajj, all of those ships, uh, 
decent at, at shrugging off just one attack. Um, Paylob especially is nigh invulnerable to just one attack. Uh, from anything that isn't rolling four or five dice while that stealth device is, is active. So you really need to be able to, to concentrate your fire. But but Ray starting off a little bit farther away. I think this has become Kevin's go-to. You'll probably see Ray turning in towards the Escort ships right at the start of the game, but baiting a little bit here with Ray maybe convincing Brandon to come a little forward just in case Ray decides to go crazy, four straight boost, get up in your face, turn one. Uh, and I think Kevin likes this because he can, yeah, he can bait a little bit with Ray, but then he can hard turn, sloop Ray, get behind the escort ships, or even just hard turn and then straight and then be behind the escort ships. Uh, I think Kevin might be thinking, okay, if I lose this match... Last match was close. Ray and Asajj died on the same turn. There was some luck involved there. It was extremely close with the arcs. Kevin might be thinking, okay, if I lose this game, it is because Ray dies first. He might be thinking, I cannot let Brandon do what he wants to do, which is come up with every one of his ships and just blow Ray out of the water. I need to be protective of Ray. I will lead with my escorts first. He might be thinking that. Certainly his escorts are beefy. Uh, Kaz, deceptively difficult to take down with six health, one shield, three agility for most of the game, and Elo with that heroic and seven health, two agility. Um, those are some beefy escorts. Of course, uh, Brandon's got some beefy escorts too. Layton, just kind of a, you know, annoying as hell to kill, <laughs> frankly, with that free evade every time that uh, someone shoots at Layton and misses. And Paylob, we've, we've, there's no need to rehash uh, the difficulty players have in killing Paylob. It is, uh, it is known. Um, so let me start the timer here because the players are going. And, uh, great. Yeah, uh, Kevin was talking about before the game how Brandon has the advantage of knowing the opener from last game. Yeah, exactly. Um, but that's part of what, you know, the part of what makes that so interesting. And I mean, you know, there's there's a degree to which so my opponent knows my opener, but who the hell cares that that opener won me the last game? You know, let let him deal with it again. Uh, Kevin uh, doing pulling a little bit of an interesting uh, change here. He's he's hard turning all of his ships toward each other. Uh, Kaz moving and then uh, choosing to, uh, huh. Okay, so yeah, uh, Elo moving, uh, Kaz moving. Kaz needs to take every single game. Kaz's first action is uh, activating that repair droid to get rid of the mandatory damage down. Uh, that's that's just Kevin's strategy. He doesn't like using the explosion with wings. He just likes the chassis and Kaz's ability, and I have no qualms with that. What is weird is that Ray decided to boost on the Resistance Falcon chassis... The boost is red, and Ray is now stressed. My thought when Kevin was moving all of his ships uh, towards each other is that the smaller ships would move next turn, and then we would see a sloop from Ray. That would put Ray right behind the escorts heading in the same direction, and they would all be in the same spot. But instead, he boosted, and Kevin does not have the Ray's Millennium Falcon title, which would allow him to sloop even while he's stressed. So no slooping next turn for Kevin, uh, which means he really is going to be locked into Ray moving away from the escorts. 
And I'm not quite sure what he's going for here. Though I will say that Ray is heading away from Asajj, uh, which might be what Kevin is looking for. He might be saying, if I can just scratch off that stealth device and have Paylob or do something with Ray here before Asajj really gets into the fight, that's a huge win for me. And he's, he wouldn't be wrong about that. But Kevin, in his games, Kevin has had an issue sometimes where he makes one slightly inopportune move with Ray, usually when he's improvising, and he unfortunately goes from that towards kind of ping-ponging from inopportune move to inopportune move, trying to get back into position. And I'm a little concerned here that that's this might be the start of that. Um, certainly Ray can uh, do a bloom bank next turn to the left uh, and then two hard turn the next turn or even boost that turn. But he's opening himself up to a flank from Paylob and Leighton in the process. And uh, he's in a little bit of a way abandoning his escorts too. There's a move from Kaz and it's a bump. And... I really hope Kevin uh, intended that. Uh, and Elo moving away, and so right off the bat, yeah, I've, I've got I've got a fair amount of concern about Kevin's approach here. Uh, he's splitting all his ships up. Uh, Ray doing a too hard turn, but keeping the stress, and not in a particularly good position to get into the fight next turn either. Uh, in the in the way that Ray wants to because of that rock right there. And that's what I was talking about at the beginning with the issue with putting your ships up at the top there is that that, okay, yeah, not even a good shot this turn, which is very unfortunate for Kevin. Um, Ray still stressed, needs to get rid of that stress, wants to sloop, but can't. Uh, and is a little bit at the mercy right now of Brandon's small ships, which can lazily bank and just hammer into uh, hammer into Ray with Ray not really being able to do much about it. Uh, Elo, Kaz, too far away to provide support. Um, I, I I think what we're seeing a little bit here is uh, you know Brandon is uh, he's keeping all his ships together. He's he's showing the. Uh, the strength of the one straight maneuver, although Asajj is heading a little bit into that rock. Um, we'll see what Brandon decides to do this turn to get out of it. But uh, Brandon just kind of, you know, moving one straight, one forward with all of his ships in solidarity. And Kevin trying to improv, trying to play around with his opening and getting a little bit out of position and disorganized in the process, what he needs to do this turn is start bringing it together. Um, Kaz in a good position to do that. Elo in a decent position to do that. Ray not at all in a good position to do that. And that's the worst thing for Kevin because Ray is by far his most important ship. Uh, bad Ray play with Kevin's list is is just a straight loss. It's it's basically a 100-point ship. It's half the list. If you don't use Ray well, you're done. Um, we'll see what he, what he decides to do here. Um, as far as Brandon goes, your, your opponent, your enemy number one, if you're Brandon, is Ray. Any damage you do to Ray is an absolute fucking win. More so if it doesn't mean that you took five damage on Asajj or Paylob in the process. And right now, Ray is a big, juicy target for Brandon to just kind of lazily bank into. Um, we did see last turn, uh, Leighton a little bit out of range, Paylob even more so. But that's a large base ship, and any amount Ray moves is, um, is probably going to take her into shooting range. Asajj is a little bit more of a question. She probably doesn't want to go straight... Uh, I don't know if she clips that rock. I don't think she does if she does like a five straight or something. The, the, the shadow caster chassis is very capable of doing that. But then that just sets her up to duel with Elo and maybe Kaz. And 
I don't know that that's the best, most efficient use of Asajj. Uh, Brandon would probably rather just too hard turn Asajj here to the left and uh, start concentrating all of his very potent firepower here on Ray. Um, if Kevin has to take a turn here to get Ray back into position where he can fire, that is... Uh, is a turn where Palob, Leighton, probably not Asajj, uh, can take Ray's shields off. And that's a huge win right off the bat for Brandon. Looks like, uh, yeah, and, and you know, showing how important these players think this turn is. Um, both of them still thinking about their dials here on their biggest ships. Uh, Kevin still thinking about Ray's move. Uh, Brandon took a long time to figure out Asajj's move, and it looks like he's he's finally settled. But yeah, if you're Kevin, this is this is not where you wanted to start this game. Um, hey, how's it going, man? Good to have you showing up. Uh, You know, I, I almost, there's a degree, there's a degree to which I wonder if it wouldn't be ideal for Kevin to just say fuck it and hit the gas hard bank, three bank into that teeny little rock that's currently the bane of his existence, uh, except that he's not going to shoot this turn, but get Ray's uh, front arc defense and then just be a terror from then on. Uh, Leighton, hard turning, uh, looks like some, he's somewhat predicting that uh, Ray might try to just get the fuck on out of there. Um, you know, Ray very capable of doing a, uh, you know, fast straight and boost, but Paylob doing that. Lazy bank, there's no reason not to. Um, that's definitely the least uh, aggressive. And yeah, there's that too hard turn from Asajj. Again, no reason not to. Now Brandon has literally... His entire list pointed at what is probably going to be the flank of Kevin's most important ship. And uh, that is a real nightmare for Kevin, no matter how you spin it. Brandon, I don't know if he's thinking about... Yeah, he's thinking about actions here for Asajj. He's thinking... Uh, Elo might be coming up on my flank here. Kaz might be coming up on my flank here. And I need to take an evade just in case. So that's what he does. Uh, he may have been thinking I'm, I might not even be in range to take a target lock on Ray. Kaz, not sure what Kaz is doing here. He's being extremely standoffish uh, for a... Uh, a ship that is really so important to uh, to Kevin's gameplay here, uh, and it sounds like uh, we might be getting just a little bit of uh, extra help commentating here. So let me jump on over to Discord. Uh, Ello being a little bit more aggressive, flipping his S foils, finally coming in and uh, getting that flank on Asajj. Uh, Elo in an extremely good position now to, yeah, getting that target lock on Asajj. Elo in a very good flanking position. Kaz in also a pretty good flanking position, but Kaz needs to be shooting this turn. Okay, and there is that from Ray. Oh, I am so interested here. Hold on. Oh, that is a hell of a move there by Kevin. Too hard turn, skirting the rocks, not not clearing his stress, but he's avoiding Leighton's arc here, and he's got his front arc pointed at Asajj, and that is going to help him both deal damage and prevent incoming damage. Palob still going to have a fantastic shot, but there is Kevin grabbing what is the absolute best that he could from... Uh, what looked like a very, very bad position. And uh, yeah, that that was an excellent move there. Um, let me see. Oh. 
All right, Charles Walker is going to be joining us for commentating in just a minute. Um, but let's start here with, uh, I hope I didn't miss that first shot. I probably didn't. Uh, uh, LO is going to take a range three here uh, at Asajj. Has that target lock. Rerolling those two blanks for not a lot better. Just one hit coming in from Asajj. And she has that uh, evade, so this is probably not going to do anything. Yeah. But that's what you get with range three shots, you know. Hello, can you hear me, Charles? I can. How are you? I am doing all right. How are you doing? Well. Uh, are you in the game? I am not. Okay, we have just had a hell of a turn. Yeah. Uh, Kevin has been out of position for a couple of turns, stressed on Ray, trying to improv his opener. Mm. Um, but... Right when it looked like Kevin or Brandon was going to have flanking shots on him with all three of his ships, Kevin pulled a crazy ass hard turn with Ray, fitting <laughs> right between two asteroids, giving him a range one shot on Asajj and taking off both of her shields. Wow. Um, he still, though, is about to have a uh, range one shot back into Ray from Asajj. And probably a range two flanking shot from Paylob into Ray. Uh, so this could still this could still be a problem for Ray. She's and she's still not in the best of positions, but uh, no longer quite the disaster that it seemed to be just mm. moments ago. Um. So already, what, what looking to be a, a very good game. Um. So Asajj is going to take this shot, range one, of course. Uh, Kevin just took that range one. The difference is that, uh, you know, Brandon doesn't have the uh, the target lock, but holy shit, he doesn't need it. Look at that. Hit, crit, crit, bl uh, focus. Spending one force to turn that into four damage. Kevin with two blanks, he will probably spend both force to convert that into two evades. Uh and, oh, no, he's just going to spend one force. Yeah, let me shoot you the server information here, Charles. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and so Kevin's going to lose all of his shields on Ray right off the bat. Um, you know, again, there, there's no sugarcoating that Ray was out of position and uh, is suffering for it because, ideally... Um, Ray would be joint Ray's damage on Asajj here would be joining Elo's damage and Kaz's damage, but Kaz isn't even shooting. Elo was a range three shot. Um, the saving grace for for Kevin here is is that uh, Leighton doesn't get to shoot, and Leighton is is very capable, especially with that bullseye auto blaster of piling damage on. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Paylob rolling hit blank blank, but can spend that evade token to re-roll and is doing that. Oh, hit, hit, crit coming in at Ray. Wow. Uh, and there's an evade. Kevin likes to see that, but that's still hit crit and Ray is half dead, basically. Uh, and that's going to be breach. whole breach, which is not good at all on a double stressed Ray. Thanks to Asajj's ability and, and frankly, just... Kevin playing very fast and loose with Ray here. Um, and it's it's hard not to say that Brandon is, is already starting to run away with this game a little bit. Yeah, I mean, Brant, it was at the end of the shooting. That is the end of the shooting. So, yeah, I like Brandon's positioning a lot, but Brandon, he can choose to press his advantage here and take care of Ray. But it also means he's going to take blanking shots yeah. on the fireball in the T-70. So it's probably worth it because Brandon's thinking, I get Ray off the board and, and my life got a lot easier. 
I, if, if Brandon gets Ray off the board without losing Asajj, he wins this game. Mm-hmm. Well, let's talk about where the players are right now. Leighton looks out of position, but honestly is completely fine with that auto blaster. I think Leighton just K turns. Yeah. I think and she's got a 3K. Why not? Nobody's threatening her. her. Yeah, absolutely. Paylob uh, still has two focus tokens. Nothing stopping Paylob from just one banking to the right and uh, presenting a threat to basically every one of Kevin's ships here. Uh, Asajj is a little bit more of an open question. Uh, Asajj is stressed. Mm -hmm. uh, might just want to get the fuck on out of there. And doesn't really have a lot of great options to do that. But I could see after Leighton K turns, maybe Asajj does a three hard turn to the left. And then tries to come around. Um, I don't think Kevin's in a great position well, to punish for that. I think a lot of people would do that, but I don't think Brandon will because he's such a conservative player. You know, he, yeah. he's always trying to protect his points, etc. Yeah. I mean, if if Asajj does a one bank right and basically Ray's stuck facing forward and Paylob and Leighton can just shoot Ray for no consequences at all. Right. Yeah, I, I think Kevin has to be thinking, if I do anything other than just a fast, straight maneuver here with Ray, I'm probably ending up on this rock. Yeah. Um, so, And I don't think Kevin has ever shown uh, a, an inability to turn around and start, you know, shooting out of the back when needed. Uh, so I wouldn't be at all surprised to see Ray just committing to a very fast move here. Try to get out of dodge a little bit, take a turn or two, swap Ray out for the escorts, really. Mm -hmm. You know, clear that stress, clear that hull breach, take some pot shots while you run away, but try not to get killed in the process. And let Elo come in, let Kaz come in and do some damage and, and, and make some chaos. Uh but once again, Kevin not at all able to take advantage of Ray's ability to shut down Paylob's stealth device. I got um, I got a question for you. Yeah, Do what's you up? think the Asajj 5K works? Does that fit? Well, it doesn't matter because Asajj is stressed. Yeah, well, it does because Asajj has cyber and... Oh, uh, you know, okay. You No, you are exactly right. And I, I uh, have once again forgotten about that card completely. Uh, no, I don't think it fits. Okay, that would have um, been so cool. But I think you're right. I think he'd, he'd end up on the rock. Just let's barely. rotate. Yeah, I think he probably ends up on the rock just a little bit. Although, at the same time, you're, you're still pointed back around. Uh, you're still in a good spot to put another stress on somebody that could still be a very, uh, a very good move. Um, so mm -hmm. K turn on Layton, no surprise, uh, hard turn from Paylob. I was expecting kind of a bank, but that's, that's, you know, this makes more sense in, in the way that Paylob's arc is pointed towards the left by doing a hard turn. He presents, uh, that 180 degree arc right where he wants it. And there's that three hard turn to the left. Mm, um, you called it. Yeah, the thing is, Brandon is a conservative player. And that three hard turn to the left keeps Asajj out of that hard flank by Elo, by Kaz, and lets Paylob come in to protect Asajj's points. Mm -hmm. um, I think Brandon's thinking about actions here, and I don't see him K-turning next turn. I think he's off the board. No, so, so I he may be thinking about rotate. Right, exactly. I I could think about a, a you don't really want to target lock Ray because Ray can jam the target lock off of you before you shoot. Since Ray already mm -hmm. has a lock on Asajj, uh, yeah, I would be thinking hard about that rotate. Um, Ray only has one agility, probably isn't going to have Asajj in her front arc. Uh, Paylob basically guaranteed that. And, you know, that two that two dice, 
supported by the three force can can you know especially with hole breach which is not going to be fixed this turn mm -hmm. what what do you think odds are yeah there it is he's gonna rotate i'm really concerned he's gonna do left is what i thought he was gonna do. Mm. no i think back is the is the better decision um it I'm, is for this turn yeah i think left is better for next turn that's completely fair that's completely fair uh, Kaz, hard turning in, um, probably just take a focus action there. Uh, Kevin's been a little bit too coy with his escorts in this game. Mm. Um, and you can already tell Kaz never shooting, Elo only shooting once, range three, and Ray is down to half. Yeah, uh, and wherever Elo's moving, Elo's going to be in range two of Paylob. Right, Pretty exactly. Guaranteed. Exactly. So Brandon's move here with Paylob, which neither one of us thought. I, I was seeing a one bank. I thought that's what Brandon right. was going to do. This is better because he's got that wide 180 arc on right. that whole side of the map. Right. And and if Ray tries to bank, then Ray's on a rock and can't shoot. Right. So I love it. Um, Elo flipping his foils, moving towards that rock. Um. Wow. Definitely going to barrel roll. Uh, the question is, is he going to link it into a focus? And he, he's... Uh, no, you don't need to stress. You need that focus. Um, oh, he did. He did. Uh, Which means he's going to just give it to Paylob. He's going to give it straight to Paylob. Although he already took a focus on Kaz, too. So I... I wonder <laughs> if <laughs> Kevin... I wonder what Kevin's thinking here, but he did forget Paylob's ability in the last matchup too, uh, where there was a turn he that did. that Kaz took a focus and, and just gave it straight over to Paylob for for free, basically. Mm -hmm. And I, I I have to think that he just did repeated the exact same mistake. Um, right. Kaz could have moved and then, uh, well, okay, no. He, so here's. There, there could be something he's thinking here, which is that, and it's hard to remember, but the fireball does not have a target lock action. It doesn't. So Kevin might be thinking, okay, it, it's still, he's not, Paylob isn't going to go through all of those tokens. Um, and he can only steal one. Looks like Kevin's having a little issue with the, the automatic barrel roll there on his dial. Uh, so he might be thinking, okay, so I'll just take focus with both of my ships, mm -hmm. and then maybe I'll hail, hail Mary some kind of damage through onto Paylob. Well, you know Paylob's going to take Yellow's focus. It's the one that makes the most sense. Yeah. Um, maybe yeah. that's why you do it with Yellow. Yeah, no, that, that, that means that's what I'm the saying. Fireball keeps it. Yeah, that's what I, I'm I, saying. I, you, you, so I could see Kevin deciding to just overload Paylob a little bit here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Thinking, surely Brandon can't use three focus tokens in a turn. Three surely. focus tokens and an evade. He can't use all of those in one turn, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think as we've seen. The, here's, here's an issue, though. Um, what did Ray decide to do? And did Elo just block it? I will, because he barrel rolled left with Elo, I'm thinking he didn't do a four straight with I'm hoping we see a three bank out of Ray. That's here. what I think we're seeing is a three bank. And yeah. it may even miss the rock and everything. It may. Um, well, we're about to find out. Uh, he's respawning a dial here for Ello trying to fix this issue. So I had a game yesterday. I played my top eight game. Mm -hmm. And uh, Matt Wilkes, who's such a good sport, I was playing against. He had to trade his dash and dial out like four times in the game. The game, whatever update they did, right? they've broken some movement. Right. Yeah, that's fair. Um, it's cha it's challenging. It is. Uh, three bank. Yeah, they're from... Oh, my God. Was that, that way? the way you wanted to go, Kevin? No, that can't be. Oh, no. The other three bank was so good, and there's a hit that's going to be a crit because of hull breach. Is that a damage sensor array? Yeah. Uh, I think it is. Oh, my God. Down. 
Uh, that is gonna hurt. There's no way around it. Oh, that's hard to see. Um, so, Ray, uh, in an extreme pickle. Um, yeah. And there, there's just no, there's just no way around that. Um, bumping his own ships, hitting that rock. Um, I, I don't know if that was an intentional, the intentional direction of the three bank or not. Um, I, I, I can't think it was because it, it, it's, no, it was just so definitively going to hit you on that rock. The three, I, you know, I, my guess is that is the way he intended to go, but I believe the three bank is the hardest maneuver in the game to guess where you're going to land, especially uh, with a large space ship. Yeah. And I mean, I think he thought he'd clear. I think he thought if he didn't barrel roll Elo that way, he was going to bump into him. I mean, because it's maybe. probably like a quarter inch. You maybe. Know, it's not. Yeah, but he's solidly on that rock. There, there's space left that he can move forward and still be on that rock. Um, in any yeah, but, case, but he bumped into Elo. If, 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 right, right. I think he thought Elo was going to end up on the side of Ray. That's, that's, that's fair. That's yeah. my guess. That makes sense. Uh, in any case, the, the the advantage to this move, if there <laughs> if there could be said to be an advantage, the advantage to this move is that if you live through this turn. Uh, which is not guaranteed because Ray has five health remaining and will be taking oh, what rich. looks like a range one attack from fully modded Paylob and a range three attack from Ray, uh, from Asajj. Very capable of them just killing Ray right off the bat here. Uh, well, I mean, Paylob's going to do three damage. Paylob might do four if that's range well, one. I, depending on how Ray rolls, right? He's going to do at least three. Right, right, right. Yeah, guaranteed. Um, if, oh my God, what just happened? <laughs> it looks like Ella was just deleted. Oh no. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's pause a little bit here. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm hearing that, uh, Charles's mic is a little low. I'm going to turn myself down a little bit so that you guys I can, can turn my gain up. So uh, that's you, you want to turn your mic up just a little bit. Um, Sir Kilgore, the rotate hurts next turn, though. That is true on Asajj. But I think the problem is, or the advantage is, rather, that Asajj is going to be out of this game for at least the next two turns. Uh, you're too close to the board edge, I think, to risk a 5K. Right. Uh, so you, you can rotate your arc back this turn, do the three hard turn or two hard turn that you're thinking next turn, and then rotate again, and you don't really lose out on anything. Um, you know, none of none of Kevin's ships are in the kind of position that make me think that if Asajj does a two hard turn and rotates to the left, that Asajj will be able to shoot anyone. And even if she does, those three force will be more than enough to support. So the thing is, if... Ray had done the three bank the other way and was in range one of Asajj's rear arc, which is where I think she would have been. Mm. We'd be like, Brandon made the perfect move here with Asajj. Yeah, that too. Uh, a triple. St we would be seeing a triple stressed Ray. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, so let's see where we are now on the... So we're back up at 34 minutes with uh, some of these technical issues. So I'm going to adjust the clock to reflect that. Right. So Elo here can shoot Paylob with three dice. Or he can shoot the better target Asajj with two dice. Man, I don't know. I, I, I honestly start to think that Kevin's far enough behind that he needs a Hail Mary. <laughs> Well, that's a dang good roll. Yeah, that's a good start. But we need multiple blanks from Paylob, not just the one, uh, because he's able well, he's to... He's make him spend two tokens here, though. He could, yeah. Uh, yeah, and he's... He has to. And he, he has, has to. to. Stealth of my yeah, so he's, he's spending a focus and an evade uh, to make that into a perfect uh, evasive action. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I just start to, I start to think that, you know, Kevin needs a bit of a Hail Mary here. Uh, and also, Kaz isn't going to get to shoot Asajj. Uh, Kaz is going to have to shoot Paylob. Yeah, the nice so... thing is the pilot skills, because uh, 
Kaz is going to shoot Paylob first, so Raiden's right. going to know exactly what he needs to do with his tokens before, right. before he spends them on Ray. That's true. Um, that said, the, the, other, the other reason to shoot Paylob um, is if you can manage to drain... Okay, that's pretty good for Kevin there. Um, just one hit. If he can roll any paint here, he can evade damage completely. But guess what? Double blanks. Uh, so when it rains, it pours for Kevin, and that is another hull breach. <laughs> well, that's fine. We're fine. <laughs> um, so Ray taking some more damage here, uh, and a real risk at this point of just being one-shotted by Paylob. Um so the other reason that you might want to shoot Paylob is if you're thinking that you can try and salvage this and keep Ray alive, uh, you can help with that by draining Paylob's tokens. Um, yeah. And that is going to become two hits. Paylob, uh, I don't think has that many dice unless that was obstructed. Was that obstructed? It's obstructed. Oh my God, that's so many dice. But he's going to make him spend another focus. Um Paylob all the way down. Basically, has a target lock left. Yeah, or or a focus. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll see. Is this range one from Paylob? It's gonna be range one. It is definitely range one, and it is also definitely not obstructed. Oh, uh, that is not good at all. Um, Paylob, though, in the, you know, maybe the roughest spot we've seen Paylob since the start of this tournament. <laughs> You're right. Um, but I, I mean, I don't really care. You can take Paylob off the board right now and it doesn't match, um, Ray. It doesn't match Ray. Uh, here we go. Uh, four dice shot. Um, okay. That's not quite. And well, hold on, hold on. Okay. D Brandon did not spend the focus. I think he wants to save it. He wants to save it. That is... Disabled power regulator and a console fire. Holy shit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ray down to two health. And uh, with console fire and disabled power regulator and everything else, you might not even need to shoot Ray again for her to die. Um, in two turns. Right? In two turns. But let's say this. Still alive. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Amazing. And can shoot next turn. Although I Absolutely. think Kevin is continuing to bemoan not having that title in this game, probably. So um, you want one of us to take one of the players and yeah, say sure. what we think they're going to do? You go, go for Brandon here. What do you think? I think Brandon does a... A left turn with the Saj, uh this next turn. I think that makes the most sense. He'll probably rotate, mm -hmm. which is why I liked it mm -hmm. uh, this past turn. Right. Um, Paylob could be a spoiler here for um, Elo, like a one bank or something like that to block up um, Elo. Because hmm. Elo can't go straight. Because he'd end up on a rock. I actually think Elo can do a one straight and be fine. One straight, maybe, but um, I, I think I think I wonder. That is close, and it is very, very difficult to see with Ray there. But I'm zooming in, and I think Ray there. I think Elo can one straight. <laughs> but I, I mean, I was only talking about that just because of the blocking. So you know, mm -hmm. we'll see. Yeah. Um, you could do a, a two bank with um, Paylob and you know whatever you could. That may actually even be a better uh, maneuver because if Ella goes past you, you shoot him. Right. And yeah. If you want to, if you, yeah. you know, if you you don't have a shot on Ray. And by and doing then, that, you put the rock between you and Kaz, probably. Right, and then I think um, Light just does it too straight. And yeah. Focus this. Yeah. Um. So Kevin, Kevin's a little bit for the for the first time in this game. Kevin's moves are a lot more straightforward, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, Kevin has exactly one objective here. He has to put 
some serious damage on Paylob immediately. Um, and he has he has two critical advantages in doing that here. Asajj out of the game for this turn. And probably mm -hmm. next turn. Mm -hmm. uh, coming around. And uh, Leighton also a little bit out of the game this for this turn. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so really it's in a, in a turnaround right now, it's Kevin's entire list versus Paylob. Mm -hmm. Kevin's dream here is PS killing Paylob. Start to finish. Yes. And yes. that is entirely possible because Paylob, and I'm going to confirm this here because I want to, wait, why does Paylob still have a focus? Because he didn't spend it. Because he didn't spend it. That's right. <laughs> Okay, uh, Paylob... To bank. To bank, coming around. Yeah, to, to do that elo bump. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, and he will he will take a focus here. That'll bring his uh, stockpile. I think he needs because, to bring his stockpile back up to well, two. he might be thinking Kevin's going to keep focusing. I can steal a focus. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, and that is... You are correct. That is probably what he's thinking there. Um, so, yeah, Pela moving in, trying to reduce the amount of shots that's coming in at him. Leighton, two straighting. Yeah, you're right mm -hmm. on the money so far, Charles. Um, yeah, uh, so I'll rush my Kevin predictions here. Uh, Ray, straight. <laughs> uh, Elo, straight. Kaz, hard turn. Yeah, Ray's... Uh, and Nasaj is just going to come around. And, yeah, this is the perfect turn. You can rotate your arc. Mm -hmm. to the left yeah and Asajj just plans to circle around maybe maybe she'll get a, a nice pot shot somewhere uh but here's the thing Elo right here can just one straight before Ray moves and avoid getting bumped right now if the problem though for Kevin with Kaz here is you don't have a target lock action uh mm -hmm. so you might just uh sit frankly and and just have to trust your dice because and he's doing it yeah Kevin Kevin is learning he's gonna one straight right into Ray uh, and he's he's just going to uh, oh that two bank is not <laughs> that's that's a rough move for Ray there um, but okay so here we are. Console fire, Kevin. Console. No, fire. he can't. He's still. He's still got a stress on him. Oh, he's still stressed. Yeah, yeah. He's 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 <sighs> down. He's down to just one stress now. So he 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 got. He's got nothing. And no, even if he could act, take an action, no, don't console fire. Target lock. Payla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kevin's Kevin's got naked dice here to try and make this work. And uh, so he, he's activating Ray first. Console fire. Nothing. Yeah. That's nice. Um, so Kevin, Kevin here is doing what no X-Wing player should ever have to do, which is, oh, uh, begging, begging for his dice to take the lead and range get him two. out of this. It, what was that? Range two. Mm -hmm. All right. So first shot range two. This is the shot with Kevin's only mods. Good roll. Decent, decent enough roll, although this is the one where you really wanted to try and mod it into three damage. Yeah, but you know that Brandon's going to spend a token. Maybe. He's going to spend that result to uh, jam Paylob. Uh, ooh, that's a good start here. Yeah. What is that result? I can't read it because I'm not colored in. Red, red player rolled three dice and got one eye. Okay, so that roll right there could make Brandon spend all of his tokens to yes. not take damage. And he's going to do yeah, it. He is. So Brandon's yes. Paylob, no tokens left, about to take two shots. Mm -hmm. um, but they are unmodded. Everybody's unmodded. <laughs> mm -hmm. this, these two shots are huge for Kevin. And this one's yeah, a range one. I think he's going to get a damage in. I think he's going to get one. Oh, no. Not with that. The worst possible roll. You can't even heroic off of that. Oh, that's got to be crushing for Kevin. Um, we still have a Kaz shot. He could still do something, but that's not a good start. 
Asajj checking for dice, and um, yeah, mm -hmm. Asajj is out. We knew that. This is the one that matters. Range two, Kaz and the Paylob, three dice against three dice, naked dice all. Odds are that you do something here. Yeah. That's two hits. That's pretty good. He has hey, to and he does it. Is this the first time Paylob's stealth device has gone this whole tournament? Maybe. I think so. Um, that is interesting. So you stop giving him tokens and he becomes mortal. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so Kevin not getting what he wanted in terms of uh, serious damage onto Paylob, but getting a little bit of what he wanted here. Um, and uh, disabling that stealth device, turning Paylob back into a mortal and uh, with only uh, four health left, very mortal against Kevin's list. Um, so I'm going to take great yeah. joy here in going on this stream overlay and disabling stealth device for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so Paylob though, Ray has two health. Paylob has a range two shot into Ray. No tokens, but two dice. Ray could die here, especially with Hull Breach. Um, won't. Well, could blank into direct hit, but won't. No. Will evade all damage. Okay, so Kevin is probably very happy with that result right there. Um, One challenge for Kevin is he's got to do hard turns now. He and Yeah. They're, they're not blue. That's that's definitely a problem. Yeah, Ray, Ray unfortunately, has been... Something I, I said at the start of the game was, I think when Kevin starts improvising with Ray, he he occasionally gets into the situation where he kind of, like, makes one inopportune move and then mm -hmm. just kind of careens from inopportune move to inopportune move for the rest of the game because he never gets a break. Mm. Uh, and I think that's been happening this game. I think he made one inopportune move, like, literally turn two. Or turn one. When he turned one, he hard turned Ray towards the escorts and boosted mm -hmm. distress Ray. And then he said, Oh, wait, I don't really like where I am. And then he hard turned the next turn. So now he was stressed heading into the asteroid field with Brandon ships coming at him. So he said, Okay, well, I got a hard turn again, and then I have to bank, and you know, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, but. This is not the worst thing in the world for Kevin. Uh, Ray continuing to stay alive by the skin of her teeth. And Paylob, yeah, in a scary position. Being flanked by Kaz. Um, being flanked probably by Elo here. Mm -hmm. uh, Elo very capable of pulling a white Talon roll. And, uh, right. or, or just a too hard turn into barrel roll, right? But I don't know that Ray gets to shoot Paylob this turn. Right? Yeah, I don't think so, because I think, I mean, looking where, like, her, her right side arc, that's going to be kind of where her arc's going to be. So if Paylob does... I think a two hard works. I think a one bank, right? Two bank, all of those work, and Ray doesn't get a good shot on yeah. Paylob at least. Yeah. yeah, but Kaz is going to have a great shot on Paylob. Yeah, absolutely. Although, as we just learned, uh, Kaz may be not that effective against Paylob. Um, he with without the ability to take a target lock action, Kaz yeah. is just has to rely on naked dice. Um, which he's fine to do, but it, it's not going to land you that crushing three, four damage attack that you really need. Um, so Paylob trying to get away and uh, mm -hmm. focusing, but being more aggressive about it than I expected. Uh, if Ray does a too hard turn to the left, that could still be a shot. I'm surprised Brandon's uh, rotating. Oh, uh, he wants, I think he, he wants to present, oh, you mean Asajj. Um, he might be thinking I can shoot Elo and put him on a rock, maybe. Yeah, but, I mean, you've got the two fours, but you don't yeah, have to Yeah, there's the two hard turn from Ray. I am very interested to see if that 
is a uh, is arc on Paylob. I don't know that it is, but I would be very I'll be very interested to see how that shakes out. In any uh, case, it's it's I'm pretty certain it's not because I'm looking. You're like looking right at it. Level. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, in any case, nobody's shooting at, at Ray this turn, um, and she will finally be able to. Well, Paylob might. It's just going to be a poor shot. Uh, that's true. Um, we'll see what... I'm very interested in what Elo does here. Um, I think Brandon moved with Leighton to block the 4K, which is what I would have done. Um, yeah, maybe. Ooh! Hello there. Hi. <laughs> okay. Elo just coming all the way over, but why? And Ello's about to take a stress. Yeah. I mean, you can safely take a focus, right? Um, you're out of Paylob's arc. Yes, you can. That seems like the good call. But you're not going to shoot the ship that you most need to shoot right now, which is Paylob. Mm -hmm. Um. You, you, there is the advantage in that you're going to get your Talon roll next turn. Um, and Can you do it if you're stressed? Let us find out. Because um, Brandon's about to drop the stress on him. Oh, yeah, almost certainly. Um, after you reveal a red, if you have two or fewer stress. So, yes. And you're good. He so will, can drop the stress he on will him. definitely be able to do that uh, no matter what. And he is definitely uh, dropping that stress on him. And why not? Mm -hmm. um, ugh, though. I mean, you you put you do put yourself in a decent position for the, the turn after, but you... I mean, if you're Kevin, yes. you, Palob really does need to die. Um, who is shooting who right now? Is it Asajj? Oh, uh, Asajj Heightened Perception. Trying to sure. put uh, Elo onto that rock. Before he could shoot. Before he could shoot. Very good call by Brandon, but uh, unfortunately the just dice just work. did not bear him out. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't even like a, a mods issue. He just, you know, he he spent his action rotating instead of taking a target lock. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, that just makes sense. Asajj is lower uh, PS than Elo. I don't think Brandon could have predicted that Elo was going to be right there. Um, I so, agree. console fire roll. Ooh, that is a hit. Oh, no. What is that? Is that another yeah, console, console fire? <laughs> oh, God. Um, that might change Kevin's priorities for next turn. Um, can we talk about how Kevin's drawn six crits on Ray and none of them is a direct hit? <laughs> uh, <Yeah. laughs> that, <laughs> that one's interesting. Uh, yeah, so I would have thought like next turn Ray might have done like a one bank or something, cleared console fire, and then, you know... But now that Ray has two console fires, you can't clear both of them in one go. Uh, I could see Ray just deciding to hard turn in and try to take one more shot. I mean, she's going to die. She's just going to die in the next turn. I mean, it's not. That's not necessarily the case. You could one straight clear a console fire and um, roll lucky, not get t not take the damage, and then clear the next Whoa. one the next turn. No, 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 that's not oh, his roll. Oh, that wasn't the roll? Okay, no. God. That's uh, still dang good. Yeah, yeah. Continuing to be, you know, kind of mediocre rolls coming from Elo here. Uh, but that's still going to be enough to plink the shield off of Leighton and uh, force Leighton to spend that focus token. Which is, you know, pretty decent here for, for yeah. Elo. Um, so Leighton, one away from half. Uh, Ray... <laughs> One away from death. Um, Yuck. I mean, was, it's an average roll. Was that Kaz there? Yeah. Yeah, just one hit. Uh, Brandon rolling uh, just enough to avoid any damage, but has to spend mm -hmm. that token again. Uh, <laughs> so we're seeing the merry chase of, of uh, Kaz and Kaz and Paylob. Um But Brandon, uh, very capable of dealing some real damage this turn. Uh, Paylob could take Ray off the board if, yeah, he has range. That's range three. Two and, against two, and Ray has force. Let's not forget, Ello's about or Leighton's about to be rolling a four dice auto blaster attack. 
Uh, range yes. one and bullseye to Ello, and that could hurt. Two shields. I'm going to call it now. Two shields off of Ello. All right. I believe you. Um, Paylob rolling nothing. Uh, you know, not not really a monster without all those tokens. Um, right. And uh, we'll see what Leighton does. Had to spend that focus to avoid a crit and half. We'll see if Brandon regrets that. Um, yeah, he's got he's got an out of arc shot on Kaz, which I could see taking, but he has an in arc bullseye marksmanship four dice range one auto right. blaster on Elo, and there is no reason in the world not to take it. Um, so here we go. Uh, once again, perfectly average. Uh, he'll make that a crit. It doesn't really matter. Uh, heroic. We'll let Kevin re-roll that double blank into... All right, just one shield. One shield. If you're Kevin, you're probably reasonably happy with that. Yep. Mods are important in X-Wing. Mods are important in X-Wing. This game is showing us that. Kaz mm -hmm. would love some mods. Paylob mm -hmm. would love some mods, too. <laughs> um, yeah, even if Kaz just had a Predator. Oh, yeah. It, the, this game might be over already if, if Kaz could take any offensive action whatsoever without mm -hmm. it being stolen by Pela. I mean, my whole list is about modifying your dice. So right. I, exactly. It's powerful. <clears throat> right. Yeah, yeah. No, no botanist. That, I mean, part of it is that it looks like Kevin's dice are bad, but... I mean, the, the larger truth of it is that Paylob has just been disabling Kevin's ability right. to do what he needs to do. Mm -hmm. um, Kaz would be doing so much more damage to Paylob if he could actually have a focus token ever, uh, and he just right. can't. Uh, Elo, same deal. Every time Kevin's uh, attacked with good mods, he's done good damage. Um, but Brandon's been doing a very good job of, of keeping... Kevin on the back foot. Ray has taken exactly one front arc attack this entire game. In fact, I think Ray has attacked uh, twice. Once in the front arc, once in the back arc. And that is not what you want out of your 100-point ship. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, it, it looks like bad dice, but I, I think the bigger truth of it is, is just that Brandon has, has been... I don't know if it's winning him this game necessarily, but he's definitely been uh, keeping Kevin well onto the back foot in terms of just constant disabling. Um, well, and I, I should have been a, a geologist because I'm such a rock nerd. <laughs> but these rocks just coming into this game, I'm like, did Brandon place all six of them? Right. Yeah. Like, is I, there a playground for him to play in? They are. Um, yeah. I And Kevin started up towards the top. Mm -hmm. And I really think it would have given him a larger advantage to start more towards the bottom. Right. Would have given Ray a lot more room to play in. Um, but he, he kind of chose the most difficult space for him to move Ray around in. Uh, and it, it definitely did not help him in those first couple of turns. Right. Uh, but this turn, um, kind of a little bit where we were the last turn, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, Layton it still coming up the flank. Paylob's still out of tokens. <laughs> Kaz is still chasing Paylob. Um, if you're Kaz, you would really, really like to sh shoot into range one. Uh, if Kevin had any damage on Kaz, I would be asking if maybe this is the first time we saw him explosion with wings mm -hmm. uh, to slam into range one. And really try to push damage through on Paylob. Uh, there's the one bank from Paylob. And the focus. I don't know why you would do anything else in the world. I um, barrel roll. Uh, like, no, nah, you need, you need your focus. I'm wondering where Kaz is going to move. I mean, I'd rather bump him than right. have a That's, a, a that's an interesting move from Leighton. Do you think he, he thought that that's where he would end up? For Leighton? Yeah. I think it's a really good spot because if Kaz is turning in, it blocks Kaz up. Maybe. I think Kaz gets passed probably. 
Um, Asajj was barreling right into that rock. Wasn't willing to do that. Um, so, no, it's okay. He has a barrel roll. Right. And he's going to do it. Yep. And th that gets him his range one. And that's what he wants. Sure. Um, Elo, probably the Talon. Yeah, you'd think. Uh, Ray running away. Uh, I half wondered if Ray would just one straight. I was thinking one straight. Try to try to take a pot a shot. Yeah, and try to take a, a pot shot far. out the back yeah. at, at Paylob if you can. Um, <laughs> we'll see if Kevin rolls, uh, you know, damage here. Um, yeah, there's the talent roll, but he flipped his, uh, and it looks like he's going to talent roll. But the problem is, isn't he still stressed? Yeah, he had a stress from last turn. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know why you would. I mean, you, I get the point, right? Wait You'd, a minute, he did a two straight, didn't he? I, he did take a stress from Asajj, so I don't know where it went. Uh, maybe we were just wrong about that. Neither of the players has an issue with what's going on. I think Brandon would remember it. Yeah. Um. And we might have just been incorrect about, about that stress going down. Um, yeah. So he manages to town roll and then uh, get the fudge on out of Asajj's arc. And that's that's a great <laughs> place. That's a great place for Elo to be. Although I don't think he'll have that bullseye. Um, but that's okay. He's got a range one unobstructed attack into Asajj. That'll be three dice. And uh, he's perfectly happy with that. Um. All in all, not a bad move set for Kevin here. Um, no, I think it's good moves for Kevin. We'll see if Ray <laughs> survives this console fire. Well, yeah, so survives uh, the console fire, and if not, oh, oh, like tell me, freedoms. tell me, Charles, what is it? It's a hit. Oh no, that is a dead Ray right there. Is uh, it? Yeah, that is going to be eight damage. Um, and, uh, that is, that's gotta be really, really hard there. Um, that is I mean, 90. I did play like you were going to die next turn because there was, <laughs> yeah, I didn't see a way out of it. Yeah. That is 92 points to, to Brandon with Kevin having zero right now. Um, now Brandon ships, a lot of them are one shot away from half. Yep. Um, that's two hits coming in on Asajj from Elo. It's good. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's all right. It's not going to do any damage because <laughs> he's got, he's got plenty of force. Um, so that's going to be exactly zero damage on Asajj there. Um, and that's, that's a real problem. Um, here's the money shot. Though. Yeah, this is the important one. Uh, Kevin, Kevin really, really needs something to happen one of these times with Kaz. Uh, and mm. you know what? If you don't get mods, you don't get what you need. Um, no, you get one damage. Uh, and that's exactly what it's going to be, unless he spends that focus token to re-roll. I wouldn't. It's only three out of eight chance. Yeah. And you've already lost self-device. Yeah. He'll just take a shield. Uh, Pelob one away from half. Um, and, uh, also with a pretty great shot actually onto Kaz here. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is, this is continuing to be a problem for Kevin. He peeled Elo away, mm -hmm. uh, and in the process, uh, has kind of left the worst ship he has uh, to fight Pelob. Elo would have Elo would be the choice, right? Because he can one bank and target lock Pelop. Have that nice range one target locked attack. Kaz doesn't have that. Um so we got one hit coming in here from Leighton. Probably just evaded. Yeah, there it is. Um and that's fine. You didn't expect anything else really if you were Brandon. Um but I think uh, I think it's just Pelop now uh, into Kaz. Uh, yeah, and you know Kaz is still full health, uh, three agility. Kaz can take a beating before he goes down. 
Um, Me too. Is he going to spend that focus is the question. Yeah, I think so. Do you think so? All right, he's going to spend it. He's probably going to get one damage. Uh, he will get exactly one damage, and that'll be Kaz's shield. Which, obviously, Kaz can get back if, he, if he's willing not to. Uh, right, but I think I think the problem that, that Kevin's starting to see here is that... Um, I I don't know if they play this for the rest of the game and we've got two minutes left in in regulation, yeah. which means we have yeah. exactly three turns left in this game. Um, I mean, what's Kevin's win condition here? Elo's full or close he's to. He's one away from half on Paylob. Yeah, he's one away from half on Paylob. He's one away from half on Leighton. And he's three away from half on Asash. Um. That said, half on Asajj and half on Paylob does not equal a dead ray. Kevin needs to have Brandon's mm -hmm. entire list to come out ahead. I think that's his only well, one condition. he's only got two turns left, so that's not good. Well, he's got three turns left. This one, before the clock runs out, and then two more after. Right, if they get a dial down. Right. Well, Which yeah. Kevin should. I ever Kevin's best move or yeah. easiest move is make it they, and put a dial they down. They've still got a minute. Well, Brandon put a dial down. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're Brand, Brandon went <laughs> ahead and said his Yeah, I know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so three turns <laughs> left. Ideally, um, six shots here. Yes. With those six shots, you need to have three ships. That's a tall order. And the hardest one of all is Asajj. Um, for a number of reasons, not the least well, of which that she has three force and can take an evade action. Well, realistically, where Elo is, Elo's not going to be able to help with Paylob. Right. I think, I think Kevin's stuck with a lot. He's he's drawn here. Is Elo's got to work on massage and Kaz has to work on Paylob. Right. Though let me say this, uh, and uh, let me check the points before I before I say something stupid. Um, okay. The other way Kevin wins this game is by doing the opposite of what he did last game and ignoring massage. And I think this is the right call. Just ignore Asajj. I'll go after Leighton and Paylob. If you kill Leighton and mm -hmm. kill Paylob, you win this game. I think that's the easier route. That's by think. far the easier route. Uh, and your ships are very capable of doing that. You're going to have a lot harder time picking on Asajj. Um, yeah, but this, this barrel roll he did last turn, yeah, he dodged the arc from Asajj, but I don't know where he's going with Elo. Yeah, it's a problem. I could see a, I could see a, a Talon, um, but over the rock and take damage and then get oh. shot in the butt by Leighton. No, I was gonna think to the uh, to the right you could to do the it, right. and then, yeah, come and then come back around next turn. Um, yeah, you get shot by Asajj. It's cool. So here, here's a question. At this point, if you're Kevin, do you? No, oh, never mind. I'm, I, I was going to say, do you focus with... But I forget, yeah. No, there's well, no we point. we were just talking that the easier route is Paylob and Leighton at this point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's why I'm thinking you don't Talon roll right with Elo. You have to go for Leighton even if it means going over a rock. Yeah, yeah. I mean, ultimately. Um, and, you know, if you do it that way, you could even swap next turn. You know, Ka you know, yeah. Elo keeps going and, and goes after Paylob and Kaz hard turns and goes after Leighton, right? Or I mean, like Elo's that. only lost one shield. And same for Leighton. Uh, same for Kaz. They're both relatively heavy. Uh, although I will say, like, you know, Kevin's on a knife's edge here. If he loses half on either of his escorts, that's, that's it. There's no way, absent an absolute miracle, there's no way he brings that back. So he, he really, he, he has to do that unfortunate X-Wing bit where you have to be super aggressive and super careful all at the same time. And 
that rarely, if ever, ends well for the player that's mm-hmm. forced into that position. So is Kevin thinking about barrel rolling? I, th- I, I think so because, I mean, there's, there's, there's no other action that would make sense for him. Uh, yeah, he's just going to go straight across that rock and, and confront Leighton. Uh, outside mm-hmm. of Leighton's uh, bullseye, too, which is very nice. Um, but Didn't he lose the stress? Cause he <laughs> yeah. He takes, <laughs> he takes another him. shield on that rock. Uh, Kevin continuing to roll very well when it doesn't serve him. Um, so he will lose that stress, though, which is which is fine for him. And uh, he, you know, the problem with that move is, as, you know, interesting as it is, once again, Kevin, for the umpteenth billionth time in this matchup, is rolling naked dice. Well, also... Into uh, into modded defense. Perception. I guess he's choosing not to. I don't see why you would. You can't put him on a rock. Fair. And you're not going to PS kill him. Yeah. So just for the millionth time, Kevin's rolling naked dice and and, and praying that it works once for him. Uh, and it it's just not. It, it just isn't. All of these rolls would be really really good if he had any he had mods, tokens. and yeah. he doesn't. And Brandon has all of them. Um. So once again, no damage. And and Ella's going to be taking two probably range one shots in in response with no mods to speak mm-hmm. of. And then Kaz, you know, after after Asajj shoots here, Kaz is also going to be taking naked dice in the modded that dice. Was the, I still think that was the right move from Kevin, though. I don't. It didn't I work out, know. but I, I you, just you've got to kill Lightning and Paylov, or you you go home. It doesn't matter how you. I guess it's just too risky. Is the problem. The hit crit coming in uh, versus Elo, who will proceed to roll. Yeah, exactly. A blank focus. The worst possible roll you can do as Elo because you can't heroic off of that. What's that crit? Stun pilot. And that that's just game. I mean, that's it. That is half on uh, Elo. That takes him up to that takes Brandon up to 120 points. And there is just no combination of shots that Kevin can do at this point uh, that brings it back. Assuming, you know, we don't see Kaz just smoke Paylob here in one, in one shot. That would be a big deal because then he could turn it in hell. Yeah, uh, but even then, so he kills Paylob, then he has to kill Leighton, and then he has to have Asajj after that. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. At this point, I don't know that I don't think even a miracle gets you the game. Um, plus, you're about to get shot by Leighton, and that could be the end of it for Elo. Um, but we we do have the shot coming in from from Kaz. It looks like, although they're being very slow about it. I wonder. What is the what is the question here? It's, it's okay. He, I, they may have just been talking about something. You know, once the timer runs out, it's kind of like, yeah, all right. Yeah. Once again, Kevin reaches for solid dice, and he get, continues to get completely average rolls that would be great if he had any tokens whatsoever. That's a crit on Paylob. Uh, that is going to be a crit on Paylob. That will be half on Paylob. Uh, no, actually, oh, he spent it. He spent it for nothing. Um, that was the wrong call. That was the wrong call. I don't really know what he was thinking there. Well, you know, I mean, I know we could say it was the right call, but I just think direct oh, hit direct on hit. Paylob. He's only got one left. Uh, I think at this point, if you're Kevin, you just try to kill Paylob to say, you know what, I may have lost that match, but I am the only person in this entire tournament that killed Paylob. <laughs> and uh, I'll take I'll take that badge of honor. Probably do damage. Yeah, there's I there's one on for cash. Kevin is he doesn't want to focus, so he can just he can R five. Oh, hit crit crit coming in to Elo. And once again, he rolls the worst possible roll you can roll, and Elo dies. Yeah. Once yeah. again. Um, 
there's just no sugar coating that. <laughs> yeah. There's no sugar coating. Two blank focus evade rolls in a row on a heroic ship. <laughs> oh, man. Um, and there goes Ello. And the game, if Kevin doesn't concede right here, the game is now just entirely... I want to oh, see if I can fucking I can I want to see if I can fucking kill Paylob. Um, He's here to play X Wing. Kevin's a good guy to get support. I I don't think he's gonna kill. Paylob. That's fair. Um, I couldn't find that in your music. I'm oh, sorry. You're good. <laughs> um, oh, that was rough right there. Anyway, that that was my concern. I, I, yeah, easy for me to come back and 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 say you know. Uh, that was my concern, and look how it played out. But I, I, that was my concern with heading over right over the rock. Right, you you you. You put yourself no tokens in between two of Brandon's ships. Um, no mods. N n you know, you're not doing anything with your shot. You're not doing anything on defense. And if you had Talon rolled the other way, then you could have safely come around the next turn mm -hmm. and tried to make something happen. Sure. Um, but here we are. And, and yeah, at this point... The, I think this is what? This is the last turn, right? Or this is the second to last turn? No, I think we've got two turns, don't we? This turn and the next this turn? This turn and the next turn. Okay, so this is the Kaz and Paylob show. Uh, so I have zoomed in. I have zoomed in so that only Kaz and Paylob are, are, on, the, are on the stream. Um, you know, Asajj out of, out of space, you know, will... It would take longer than we have in turns for Asajj to come around. Leighton, uh, same deal. He doesn't really want a K-turn because, you know, Leighton will hit that rock. So probably also out of the game. Maybe too hard turn to the right, too hard turn to the right again. But really, yeah, this is just this is just Kaz versus Paylob. And uh, and I check with them. There's two turns left. Two turns left, one, okay. And the next one. So, yeah, this is this is entirely, let's settle in. And see if Kaz and, and Kevin can become the first player in this tournament to take Paylob off the board. He's already, I think, the first person in this tournament to do any damage to Paylob whatsoever. So Kevin just said, I already know I can't win. Just gonna go just going to try and kill Paylob. Yeah, uh, yeah, there um, you go. A hundred percent. Uh that that's a badge of honor right there, like you said, uh node botanist. Um that's that would be something that that he could take away. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think I think ultimately, if we're gonna if we're gonna start like post game recap here, the 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 biggest problem that Kevin's had all game is, uh, and just unfortunately, he he didn't fly Ray the way that he needed to fly Ray. Um. And it's easy for, you know, for armchair coach or, oh, coaches to say as much, right? You know, oh, well, you know, the player didn't do what he needed to do. But wh whether it's it's a combination of, you know, how you fly or how your opponent flew, if you have a 92-point ship who only takes two shots the entire game and only one of them was one you set up, you're going to lose that game. Um, there's no ifs, ands, or buts, you know, about it. Uh, Kaz moving, barrel rolling, but Brandon uh, aggressively moving with Paylob to uh, deny a range one shot. Yep, just barely. And uh, yeah, Brandon being a real spoil sport here. Um, <laughs> uh, Kaz rolling three blanks. Heroic. Heroic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You should roll three blanks into three crits. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, Jeez. No. Oh, no. Um, Paylob rolling back. Four hit crit. <laughs> oh, and this is... Oh, no. That's going to be a crit onto, onto Kaz. And that's okay. a direct hit onto Kaz. And that disables him versus Paylob. He has three damage now. Um, but yeah, but he can R five. Yeah, I, I he can move R five this turn because he would have had no damage. That's a good all. point. There's no reason that he couldn't have been R fiving this whole time, really. Right. 
That's what I thought he was going to do, honestly. Once he's once he drew his first image card, start R fiving because there's no point. So it's like taking an evade, right? Yeah, in a way, although it's better because it lets you, you know, when you shoot first. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. But I'm just saying it's it's it it gives you some agency. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so last turn. Asajj out of the game. Layton's in the game, but who the hell cares? <laughs> you can kill <laughs> you can kill Kaz all you want. This is the last Layton turn. Doesn't it doesn't matter. Um yeah. uh, the the problem <laughs> the problem for Kevin here is that he did not make Brandon spend his focus last turn. So Brandon still has his focus. That means he'll have two, probably. And uh Brandon probably will choose to aggressively move again this turn. Uh, yeah, there's the two hard turn and the two hard turn. That brings you around. Brandon predicting correctly where the fight would be a couple turns down the road. Um, mm -hmm. Pay lob, three bank. Maybe. <laughs> it's the fastest thing he can do. Isn't it? All right. Uh, what are we doing there? Yay! Three bank. Uh, that puts him next to the, you know, thing. I don't, I don't know what he's doing there. What are you, what are I you doing? I think it's not working. What are you doing there, Brandon? Yeah, it's not working. Yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> Whatever up it is, it's broken oh. some maneuver sometimes. Whatever. It doesn't really matter here at this point. This is point. what we'd be doing in real life. Yeah, um, exactly. Oh, man. Can I talk about how much I want to get back to playing, like, on the table? Absolutely. Ugh. TTS is nice and all, but it's just, it is absolutely no replacement. You do lose the social aspect of it. And I yeah. Think some of the bluff game, right? Like yeah. That. Yeah. The bluff game. And um, I don't know. It's, it's hard for me to get into a game on TTS the way I get into it in person. Sure. S sitting at my computer, you know, in the chair and everything, it, it doesn't really give me that same, like, you know. Mm hmm feeling. My kids bringing me snacks and drinks. Right. Is... <laughs> See, that's how you want it in a tournament though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, my wife always says, you know, what she needs is a valet. Right. And, uh, exactly. I totally get that. <laughs> yeah. You have kids and then the kids tell you that they're not, they have no interest in being your valet. <laughs> uh, Asajj coming around, but Kevin's already moving before Asajj does anything because <laughs> really who cares? <laughs> Uh, and he R5, too. Yeah, he R5. Ooh, is this going to be range one? Oh, it is. Okay. So after, like, five turns of not rolling good naked dice. He needs three hits. He needs... Uh... <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that's not going to do it. No, he's got an evade token. Ah. Uh... He doesn't even need to spend the evade token. And Kaz, uh, with four health left, is about to take in a bullseye auto blaster. Uh, and then a fully modded range one paylob shot. Right. <laughs> Just to um, add insult to injury for daring to try to take paylob off the board. Wow, that's a bad roll. <laughs> there you go. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing, Kevin? Oh, because there's a crit. It was marksmanship. Oh, it didn't even matter. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's, oh, that's got to feel bad. In all, in all honesty, that has to feel bad for Kevin. That. I forgot about that. Um, that really does. Uh, pay and, lob, the to re -roll and, focus. and then focus for hit, hit, crit. If he doesn't roll any evades here, he he's just said he still might be. That's a hit crit coming through. Um, uh, playing around fuel leak. All right, Kaz limps away from this match with all of one health left, and a very decisive victory for Brandon. 
Uh, let's jump in here to the Discord. Sure thing. Hi, guys. Hello. How's it going? That was a game. Was it? <laughs> yeah. So, I, in, all, in all fairness, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm just like Ray getting the double console fires. I'm still smarting from... So, uh, Kevin, because you mentioned this a little earlier, the irony of this is if you look at the dice stats, technically we both had bad dice. We did. Yeah. Oh, we totally. We, we, had, we had negative luck scores across the board on all dice. <laughs> no, no, ab absolutely. Like you had two really high damage early shots, and then and then they just kind of bottomed out for both of us. Yeah, and your red so your red dice were worse than my red dice, but both of us had uh, like yeah. Yeah, I mean no, the the, the different matter, so. the di well the difference was unfortunately I mean Paylob just got to shine here and Kaz basically didn't take a, a modification. In the entire in the entire times. game, basically, yeah. Yeah, and I was telling Kevin about that. Basically, late game, he was in a situation where he went after Paylob, and even though he burned through the stealth device, mm -hmm. he split. He essentially split a two a two remaining ship list, mm -hmm. and hung uh, and hung his X wing out to out to dry, to go for it. Yeah. And once he had already basically lost Ray and was just fighting to try to get that edge case where maybe he could keep her alive, um, Paylob wasn't going to be enough. He would have needed to get Paylob and Layton. Right. Um, or get Paylob and half of Layton. Yeah, Paylob and, take, and half of no Layton. other damage. But if he took any other damage, then not even Paylob and all of Layton would have been enough. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. He kind of. He kind of ended up in real trouble once he committed the way he did and only got two shields off of Asajj for his trouble. Right. Well, I know Charles has a game coming up here pretty soon. So, Charles, uh, I don't want to keep you. Do you have any questions for the, the players? I've got the one question, which was the, mo the three bank over the rock with Ray. And did you just think you were going to clear L.O.? with that kevin it's, once i finished barrel rolling elo i realized i'd made the mistake of the order um i okay. thought that i i was going back and forth trying to figure out if i could if cause my plan was with elo if elo could take actions was do the one bank and barrel roll mm -hmm. and because one bank would put me square in front of this rock and i thought I stared at it for a minute and I thought, okay, I think if I barrel roll backwards that Ray can get can squeak past me. And mm -hmm. once I finished barrel rolling, I realized before I even moved Ray, I realized I'd messed it up. Right. So, so I did think that Ray before I revealed the dials, I thought, okay, I think Ray after I finished barrel rolling can squeak past, okay. but I was I was really thinking, like, maybe I shouldn't risk it. Maybe I should just do Ray first, and I, I should have. No, that, that makes sense, and I was telling Mark, I, you know, there's no way he intended to do that. It's, it's hard to guess where a three bank's going to be, especially with the large of a ship. So I yeah. just assumed you thought you were going to clear your LO. Yeah, I, I thought, um, and I didn't want to do the free bank to the right because I thought there was a chance he would try to block me with Asajj in such a way that the the train tracks would put me on. Mm. Uh, I was worried about that possibility. So I wanted mm. Ray, who was already below half, to just get out of dodge. Gotcha. Okay. Well, uh, thanks, guys. That was a that was a really interesting game to watch. Um, Kevin, uh, you know you're you're out of it, unfortunately. But top eight uh, is awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, was, like you ha did an incredible job this tournament, and uh, I, I hope you're proud of, especially in this field uh, of of hitting top eight. That's that's a really achievement. And oh, uh, I'm I'm definitely still happy with this, especially considering that. I had like maybe two games with with this Ray build under my belt right. before I started playing, and yeah. it was in the middle of playing this that I real figured out my deployment. Even right, this this Ray is so much fun, and I'm 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 happy with it. Well, I'll, I'll I hope you stick with it. Um, and uh, Brandon, congrats, man! Um, you flew a hell of a game. 
Uh, good luck next. Uh, if Charles gets through this round. I already did. Oh, you already did. Oh, so yeah, you already did. Uh, we'll, we'll all look forward to Brandon v. Charles next week. I, I, well, we I don't mean, know that for sure, but it's possible. It's possible. Brandon would have to be fourth, I think, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be first. So we'll see how the, the pairings work out. Sounds good. But um, all right. Have a good night, guys. Uh, everybody who's watching, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you next time and have a good night.